so good morning chess fans i am back with another video here and this time it again is a celebrity chess video you cannot exactly say a celebrity but a famous personality and last time i did a leo tolstoy video before this so this is a second video in this series and this time i am going to cover a game between mughal knight of and Ernesto Chiguar and this game was played in Cuba during the communist regime and Snydoff was a Polish Jew so he was actually born in Warsaw Poland in 1910 on 15th of April so he actually was a European player, not Latin American, as most of the people believe that he was an uh, Argentine born grandmaster, but that is not true. Nidoff was playing in Buenos Aires in the 8th Chess Olympiad in August and September 1939, at the start of the World War II. And so to avoid Nazi army and Holocaust and brutalities involved, he decided to stay back in Argentina. And during this time, a lot of players decided to stay back in Argentina instead of going back to Poland to avoid SS and Hitler. So later he got Argentine citizenship and he played for Argentina and his contribution in the development of the Sicilian Nidoff theory is great actually Nidoff defense is named after him in Sicilian defense and it is one of the most popular openings even today and in the mm, top grandmaster data it is a more played opening than any other opening and if you want to check out the real power of this uh, knight of defense you must have a look at the games played between anand and kasparov in early and mid 90s and this uh, sicilian knight of is still considered one of the best openings for black and knight of's contribution to the development of theory in the sicilian lines uh, really great and in this game actually he was playing with the white pieces not black and with the black uh, his opponent is Chiguera famous Argentine Marxist revolutionary who believed uh, many believe that uh, as the think tank behind the Cuban dictator Fidel Castro and years back I was uh, watching one of his uh, film uh, a film based on his life motorcycle diaries and find this guy really interesting apart from his revolution thing and all that political stuff so let's have a look at the game first and we are going to discuss few things about the game later as there are some controversial things involved with this uh, game this is the uh, final position let's go back to the start of the game Nidoff started with uh, e4 and Guerra replied e5 knight f3 knight c6 going into Spanish kind of setup here bishop b5 was played real opens a spanish opening a6 typical move in spanish bishop e4 this knight f6 move is uh, slightly uh, odd and it is not that popular nowadays but uh, this is not a bad move and this still is theory a lot of theory involved here and white cannot get uh, extra pawn on e5 by trying to capture knight on 
c6 with his bishop and then trying to capture pawn on e5 with his knight because there are many troubles involved it is not so simple you can check out the theory if you want to know but uh, that certainly is not a very good line for white so Guara castle knight of played bishop to e7 rook to e1 and b5 got split and this really shows that uh, Guara actually understood chess very well he is uh, still playing the best opening moves possible uh, still we are in uh, book so bishop b3 and up, oh, this bishop e7 move actually here bishop e7 this is close uh, spanish and this move here after castling h3 and h6 this is smash law defense and in rue lopez and we are still in the book so black uh, is playing really solid considering amateur player and at this uh, game at the time of this game probably Nidoff was the strongest chess player in latin america and he was playing against uh, a leader from his country so this is a really very odd situation for both players and actually this game was not played in argentina it was played in havana cuba in a most probably in a simultaneous exhibition and in this position d4 was played knight of is trying to open the center rook e8 was played and knight b2 d2 so still developing nothing is exchanged this affair here two moves are possible what was played in the game was bishop f8 and this still is good move and this is played by many players even today but uh, bishop d7 is another line suggested by stockfish it goes like this and this line is also good but what, what uh, was played in the game was bishop f8 and this shows the positional understanding of uh, guara because uh, this uh, is not a bad move in any way and this is you can say very positional move so how Nidoff replied Nidoff closed the center with b5 and position is exactly equal and there is another line and most popular line nowadays is knight f1 and this gives white some better chances compared to what was played in the game a uh, sample line goes like this and there is lot of theory involved here so if you want to check it out you can check some theory in close spanish uh, all these moves are most probably the optimal moves uh, in this position so this was not played in the game but this is an alternative line suggested by stockfish and this line is also much much more popular in modern play but what was played in the game was d5 in this position instead of knight f1 d5 was played knight e7 c4 we take c4 that was played in the game but uh, another line is c6 let's have a look at this c6 line first c6 was uh, if c6 is played and sample line goes like this and still this is uh, probably equal for both black and white with a slight minute advantage for 
white but uh, there is nothing special and this is exactly equal but btex c4 is slightly dubious but still it is a playable move knight takes c4 c6 Ktex c6 knight takes f7 either all these moves are really good here two possible moves are uh, possible here first is bishop e6 that actually was played in the game this uh, nowadays is considered slightly dubious another better move is bishop b7 simple line goes like this and this is probably slightly better for white but still nothing special with bishop e6 uh, a simple line goes like this Here white is uh, still slightly better, but uh, this still is not losing for black in any way. White has some solid advantage, but what was played in the game was this up e6, and this actually was the last move. And it is noted that uh, they both agreed to a draw at this moment, but there is some controversy related to this thing as a famous chess historian um, uh, reported uh, on his website chesshistory.com that somebody uh, noted uh, somebody named Mike Salter in Sydney Australia note noted that uh, there is a 16 more draw between Nidoff and and Gurev at some simultaneous exhibition in Havana was not actually a draw as uh, on the page 44 of uh, book Night of Life and Games by Lisovsky mentions that Night of claimed he won that game and he actually refused the draw offer by Guerra and he considered this as a revenge to a loss to Guerra in a, another simultaneous dis display in past at Mardi Plata in 1947. I cannot be sure about this thing. And when I was checking this game on chessgames.com, uh, there was some kibitz thing. And somebody noted that uh, in a book, Nidoff's daughter wrote he she mentioned that actually Nidoff won um, both um, both games this one and the one before that was played in 1947 so we cannot be sure about the outcome of this game and the, the game before and we don't have any notations available for the 1947 game so we cannot show you that part here so it is up to you to decide whether this is a winning position for white or black or if you want to play it out you can send me a challenge you can try it you can try different variations uh, in a correspondence game from this position so if you are interested please leave comment thank you and bye for now